Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Today we have a question from one of our YouTube subscribers. Let's do a quick analysis and to send your own questions, please consider subscribe our channel. All right, so here's a quick analysis. Well, given the center is not shifted, since it's an ellipse and false eye is on y-axis, or false eyes are on y-axis, so the ellipse is going to be elongated along y-axis. Major length is 16. Take half of that. You can see one is at 8, the other end is at minus 8, minor is at 10, so minus 5 and positive 5. Now here is a quick review on how to go about finding equations for the ellipse. Now, there's uh, only two things you really need to know. It's always elongated along the y or uh, along the long axis. So if it's elongated x-axis, then x divided by the number is larger. If it's elongated y-axis, then the y number is di um, divided by the larger number. The second thing is that if it does have a shift, it's x minus wherever the shift is. Since our case centers at 0, 0, the second point doesn't concern us. Since our case here is elongated y-axis, so that's going to be y term dividing by our larger number. So let's write up the solution. All right, so here's the solution. The full size r on y-axis is elongated on y and the number divided underneath is should be half of the major length major axis of length 16 divided by that you have a 64 here and the minor one is 10 divided by half that's 25 so the answer is going to be this one the first one well i hope this helps hi this is dr pan recording from tucson arizona please comment share or like this video together we can make math easy again have a confident day